Ever since it was founded in 1913, one of the Federal Reserve's main roles has been supervising and regulating banks and other financial institutions. Over the years, that role has changed in response to some important events. The biggest financial event of the last century was the Great Depression. Many people lost their life savings because their bank's risky investments wiped out their accounts. So Congress passed the Banking Act of 1933, also known as the Glass-Steagall Act, which enabled the Fed to supervise and regulate many financial institutions more closely. The bank has been obviously showing some signs of commercial real estate. Supervision and regulation is still evolving today. The financial crisis that began in 2007 led to the passage of the Dodd-Frank Wall Street Reform and Consumer Protection Act of 2010. The name captures the purpose of the law. What this uh, legislation does is greatly strengthen the provisions to uh, require regulators not just to look at their individual fiefdom, but to look at the whole financial system and try to identify risks that, that might be arising as the economy changes and the financial system changes. Those objectives are to promote the financial stability of the United States by improving accountability and transparency in the financial system, to end too big to fail, to protect the American taxpayer by ending bailouts, and to protect consumers from abusive financial services practices. The Fed is not the only federal or state agency to watch over financial institutions. Among others, the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation and the Office of the Comptroller of the Currency also supervise some financial institutions to ensure their safety and soundness.